Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Bruno. And in today's video, I want to, to show you guys how to automate your YouTube and Spotify songs together. And this is pretty much what we want to do, guys. We want to do this following. So we want to go to our YouTube videos and our YouTube channel and see all the liked videos we have here. Then once we've got that, what we want to do, we're going to go to Spotify. We want to create a playlist. Let's call it uh, liked. Let's call it liked YouTube videos. YouTube videos and then we save it and then what we want to do we want to search for songs like um, Goose Bump by Travis Scott Goose Bumps then you gotta go ahead add the playlist add to YouTube and like videos on YouTube okay then this bit here is literally what we want to do so for you to fully understand what's happening with the code, you need to understand what an API is. But in a nutshell, an API, guys, is work as the following. When you think of a, when you think of an API, think of a restaurant. So an API is pretty much uh, the waiter, which is the middleman between the customer and the client. The customer being you, obviously, that's the app and the client being like a Google API or Spotify API, which is the the staff, the kitchen staff at the restaurant and the waiter, which is the middleman, is actually the API, is taking the request, is taking the kitchen and just bring you a response, which is, in other words, is bringing you food. I hope that makes sense, guys. This video is not scripted, so good luck with that, man. I don't know how long it's going to take, but with that said, let's go ahead and tell you guys what you need to download first of all. Before you go any further, guys, I want you lot to go ahead and start practicing just using this API that we have here. So we got um, this bunch of uh, APIs, but I feel like if you want to learn how API works, Spotify APIs is handy, very, very clear. It explains to you what's happening. So I want you lot to go ahead. So download Postman and I want you lot to play around with it because Postman will help you understand what's happening behind the scene. It's a lot, guys, to, to, to make in one video, but one example of a, well, in this case, Spotify API is pretty much to create a playlist. It tells you what you need to do, pretty much. There's the endpoint, there's the request method, and there is also the office required, which is you have to make sure you're the right user. When you're doing that, you have to put the user ID there as well get your token. Obviously, I can't show you this information because that's my personal uh, Spotify account. But the point is, guys, you can go ahead and read more about creating the, uh, the playlist on Spotify, which is great. They, they also have a similar thing for when you're searching for an item and so on and so forth. My key point in this video right now here is for you lot to go ahead and just get a better idea of what's happening with APIs. How does it work? I've already told you like the show, like the, I've already, I have already explained to you guys what it really is. But I want you guys to see in the coding like what is really there. So go ahead guys, play around with it. Don't feel in rush to get this working. It's more important, it's better to understand what's happening behind the scenes rather than just getting it working, you know? So I would encourage you guys to play around with just the APIs and Postman, that's it for now. Then once you got comfortable with this guys, what I want you guys to do ahead to go and do next is, let me delete the things I've already spoke to you guys about because you know this already. And once you've done that, I want you lot to go ahead and um, learn about Google and Data API, which again is something that we're gonna be using because we need to make sure we are able to access our Google data from our YouTube channel. That's 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 not gonna be easy, guys, to fully, especially if you haven't got an idea of how to work with API. But what I want you guys to do is to take some time to learn it, like really embrace and learn that stuff. And the final thing we're going to be using is a library called YouTube DL, which um, we're going to help us download the songs, or well, in, in this case, we're going to help us download the videos that, that we need for example. We're going to download, help us download the information of these videos, like Travis Scott, Chris Bump by uh, Fit Kendrick Lamar. It's going to help us understand, get that information and many more. So once you go, um, that's where is it? where we are. Um, we are. Once you get this installed, then you guys need to make sure you go ahead and read about the YouTube list API, which is shows you guys how you're gonna get all the data that you need for for the for for, for, for us to be able to get to download all the songs that we 
from our YouTube. This is pretty much it. Like this is like the request that's gonna help us get all the liked songs from our YouTube video, uh, our YouTube channel. So please make sure you understand what's happening here and why we're getting all that data and why we get all this information back from the API. Again, API is important, guys. Make sure you understand what that's what's happening. And I know I'm a bit I'm rushing right now because I don't wanna make this video too long. But with that said, guys, we need to go next. Once you've done all this stuff, explore it, guys. The next thing that I want you guys to understand it is how to use Google uh, of authentication, really. And um, so this is another topic that, again, is really hard to explain just like in a quick video. But this is what you're going to need. Make sure you read through this guy and you understand what's happening. I know a lot of YouTube just tell you to get start coding, get it working and stuff like that. But I personally feel like it's good to have a basic understanding of, uh, of, of what's happening. And with that said, guys, let me show you the code pretty much. I know there's a lot more to like, I explain to you guys, but let me just show you the code right now. So you guys have an idea of what's happening. So if you go to the code and I'm going to just run it because um, I actually want to debug it just to make life easier for us. So go ahead, debug this. And let's wait. So we get this code here. I'm going to have to. So, <clears throat> and then we paste the code. As you guys can see here, once you paste the code, press enter. Downloading. Oh, the page refreshed as you guys can see there that I finished if I click on the light video you guys notice that this is came through and you guys can see here I have the songs that I have like on my Spotify playlist and um, I feel like um, one thing to worth, worth mention right now is the fact that guys this is gonna take a while I mean the code is already done and I'm not going through the code like I said the point is not to just show you the code right now because you can, most people can read the code. What I want you, want, what I want you to guys understand is what's happening behind the scene, really. Why is that requesting? Why is that coming through? What sort of information are we getting back from this API? And how are we making this information possible? How are we working with all these? Like, this is the thing that I personally think is quite important because some of the codes, like this code that we saw here is exactly the same code that we saw on our Google using the API here and um, not this bit. Uh, I think I might delete it, but it's literally all there. And then getting the liked videos, then looping through that. So that sort of stuff you guys will be able to get it. But the main part that I was concerned that I think people need to fully understand is how and why is it working this way. Hope that makes sense. Go ahead guys, check it out. Like this video, please, please give it a like. Let me know in the comment section what you're struggling with and we're gonna solve it together. My name is Bruno, like always, I'll catch you guys on my next video and stay blessed. I'll see you soon. Ciao.